Banksy's artwork has once again been causing a stir here in London. Last week, a piece thought to have been lost through the realms of time was unveiled in Shoreditch, unscathed and looking good as new. I went down to see the piece for myself and wanted to take this opportunity to look beyond the smoke and mirrors and try and process exactly what it is we're looking at. My name's Doug, you're watching Fifth Wall TV. Before we get stuck into this, please make sure you like this page and subscribe to the channel. I will only ask you once or twice, or three times. I'll ask you a lot, okay? Please, just do it. In the year 2006, Banksy was a household name and his work could still be found all over London. In amongst iconic pieces like the Pulp Fiction Banana, The Girl with a the Balloon, there was the depiction of a police officer banging out a line on Curtain Road. Classic Banksy. But like the livers and kidneys of those living in the East End at the time, the snorting copper took an absolute battering over the years and was thought to be nothing but a distant memory and something for the archives. Shoot forward 10 years and the East End boozers and dance floor heavyweights of Shoreditch have been replaced with ball pit bars and cereal cafes. Affordable living is a thing of the past. Street art hype is on full throttle and two property developers announce that they will be returning a Banksy fully restored to its original home. Naturally, they had my attention. Now insured for £1.25 million, the piece is housed within protective glass casing and is weighed down with two and a half tonnes of concrete. It's monitored with 24 hour CCTV and floodlit for nighttime viewing. It's safe to say that this Banksy 2.0 is slightly different from the original. I asked you guys for your thoughts on Facebook and Instagram. Naturally, you didn't hold back. Let's unpack everything right now. I'm gonna start with the restoration itself. According to an article in The Guardian, the restoration team used special solvents to carefully erode the layers of paint that had built up over the years, bringing it back to the original wall and the Banksy that was painted there. As highlighted in an article by Dave Stewart using the photos of Martin Bull, the state of the piece by the end of 2006 going into 2007 was a far stretch away from its original form. With this in mind, you have to ask yourself the question, when something that barely resembles any form of artwork suddenly takes on a new lease of life looking good as new, with absolutely no contact from the original artist, to what degree can we call this authentic? I contacted the team at fineartrestoration.com to have a chat about the restoration process and to find out if something is ever beyond salvageable. They were super helpful and after about 15-20 minutes of talking, the final result was it's all subjective and really it comes down to the individual buyer and the market to validate the authenticity of the piece. If you're willing to spend it, fine. From my point of view, if I was presented with evidence that showed that 90% of that piece hadn't been painted by the original artist, who just so happens to still be alive, I would question whether or not I was willing to put my hand in my pocket and fork out 1.25 million pounds for this. Next up, let's talk insurance. Even though Banksy will never authenticate any of his street work that's been removed, there still seems to be a very healthy market for his work. Aside from Stephen Kessler, link below, the biggest offenders are probably the Sincura Group. These are the guys that in 2013 charged people £17.50 to go in to see an exhibition of work that had been removed from the street. Earlier this year, they facilitated the sale of four of Banksy's street pieces from Liverpool to a private buyer in Qatar for a cool £3.5 million. They also just so happened to oversee the sale of slave labour, which is believed to be the most expensive of Banksy's street pieces ever sold, coming in at £750,000. My point of bringing this up is that the snorting copper has been insured for £1.25 million, £500,000 more than the most expensive Banksy street piece ever sold, which was 100% pristine and painted by the artist. I'll leave that with you. Finally, let's take a look at the decision to publicly display the work. There are two ways of looking at this. One is that these two gentlemen have provided the good people of Shoreditch with 24 hour access to a genuine piece of street art history. Another would be that this is nothing more than a Trojan horse sent by two property developers to reassure foreign investors that the hyperinflated prices they are charging are justified because the area is rich with culture. 
albeit a safe, sterile version of the culture that did actually exist there before everyone was priced out and we had to start putting artwork in glass cases. My name's Doug. This was Fifth Wall TV. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like the page and subscribe to the channel. Share it and tell all your friends that if they are not following Fifth Wall TV, they are in fact dead to you. Till next time.